Hey, what's going on? It's Craig, the natural medic, and I wanted to stop here. This is called the Leopold Vista. You can see what it looks like out here. In the Gila National Forest, you have all of these mountains, which is not part of the Rockies, but it's north of the Rockies, or sorry, south of the Rockies and uh, north of the deserts of Mexico. You have elevations ranging from 4,500 to almost 11,000 feet. Several mountains over there. And not sure exactly what I'm looking at, but according to the map over here to my right, straight ahead we have, I believe, Grouse Mountain, Mogollon Baldy, Whitewater Baldy. Those are the three big mountains over there in that particular deal over there, which you can see. Lots of history here, and just to tell you about um, Aldo Leopold, what we're looking at over there where those mountains are is part of the Gila Wilderness, which is one of the largest wilderness areas, and one of the first, actually the first, in the lower 48. Um, it was actually set aside in 1924, uh, about 40 years before the actual passage of the Wilderness Act of 1964. Uh, which set aside a bunch of wilderness areas. He was definitely a conservation pioneer. What a beautiful view. But it's my hope and dream one day that I can do some backpacking out here in the Gila. I believe, and I could be wrong, but I believe the portion of the Continental Divide Trail goes, uh, goes through this wilderness area. Uh, there's three wilderness areas in the Gila. The largest one, of course, is the one that uh, Aldo Leopold has helped set aside, which we're looking at that way. It's the one we can see. It's over 500,000 acres. It's called the Gila Wilderness. Here it is on the map. Uh, I am right here. I'm looking over this way. That's what I'm seeing. Um... The next one is called the Aldo Leopold Wilderness. And uh, it is, yeah, the Continental Divide Trail goes right through here. And the, the Aldo Leopold Wilderness, and they also have the Blue Range Wilderness, which is right on the Arizona border, Arizona New Mexico border. And it adjoins another property on the other side. Lots of history here. And 100 years ago, this is where the first wilderness area was set aside. Very cool. I remember learning this when I was uh, studying forestry for my bachelor's degree and uh, how Aldo Leopold was one of my heroes. Hey, if you like this information, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Uh, think about subscribing to the channel if you want to see more cool adventures. And eventually you're going to see me over there uh, hiking that and backpacking it. So thanks a lot. If you've got any comments or questions, leave those below. See you on the trail.